Okay, before I start today's main event setup guide, if you like what you see, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie, just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide. So we're looking at advanced main today. Now, all you need to do is just Google search this and it's likely going to be your first option. You'll find all the links you need from there. So what we're going to do first then is actually extract advanced meme itself. So I've got it ready here in a zip folder. If I just open up this zip folder, I've got advanced meme inside. This is everything we need. So I'm going to just extract this into a new folder and just title this folder advanced meme or call this whatever you want. And then I'm going to highlight all the contents of that zip folder and drag and drop it into that advanced meme folder. Pretty simple stuff. So what we're going to do while that's extracting is talk about the main rom set now advanced main works with main 0.106 and there's also specifically snapshots which you can use once we're in the advanced main front end so we're going to go into the advanced main folder now which i've just extracted what we're going to do first in here is actually launch advanced menu and windows protected your pc run anyway Okay, so we can just close this down for now. So if you've noticed in the background just here, we've got some new folders up here. So we're going to go into the ROM folder and there's a few games in here already and these are in .zip traditional main ROM set stuff. Now I've got the games ready, just remember that this system is for main 0.106, which is fairly old but it's got a hell of a lot of classics on it. So we're going to just drop the ROMs inside of that ROMs folder which MAME has just created. So they're going to go inside advanced MAME, ROM and paste. While that's copying over we're going to just back out and we're going to find another folder here called sample. So the MAME 0.106 ROM set comes with a sample folder too. So what we're going to do is exactly the same is just copy and paste the samples into the sample folder and you're also going to have .chds as well which you can download and your chds are also going to go into this sample folder so we're just going to wait for these to extract over uh, what we can actually do in the meantime is just go down to snap folder and in here i've got the snaps for this so snaps or screenshots that type of thing there's eight packs of these in total which you're going to find on the advanced main website we don't need to extract them we're just going to drag and drop those into the advanced main snap folder. And for now, we're just going to wait patiently for the ROMs and the samples just to copy across over to the advanced main folders. Okay, so once your snaps are copied in place and your ROMs and your samples and CHDs, we're actually going to open up the front end. We're going to go to advancedmenu.exe. Okay, so this is advanced menu and as you can see we got artwork for all the games and the key on your keyboard right next to the digit one on the left and to be honest i'm not sure what key that is called but what i'm going to do is put an image on the video right now so you can see which one it is i'm pressing we're going to get menu from here and from here if we just go down to emulators it's also going to tell us which keys on the keyboard can access these rather than going to the menu if I go to emulators and press enter, we got a choice here to use advanced main or advanced mess. So I'm going to keep it on advanced main. And again, by using that key, you can go down to settings and press enter to go into this. We can go to game type and we can actually define our collection. So for example, if I wanted run and jump platformers, I'm going to just press enter. And from that key again, we can go down to change difficulty levels on our games. Default is going to be obviously the hardest I'd imagine and we can also select our games to go at normal 
And if we go to listing at the top, we can go to sort. And from sort, we can actually go down to year, for example. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling down, we've got games listed by year, which is currently 1991. If we go to mode, we can actually change how the images display through advanced menu. So for example, if I go down to tile small, we can change it here and we can select games to play. We can also go down to tile enormous. Okay, so I'm going to select a game and I've got a controller connected, which is an Xbox controller and that's connected through Bluetooth. So if I just open up a game, I'm going to randomly choose one here. And right now I'm just pressing tap and I'm going to configure the controls with this. So I'm going to go to input general, player one controls. And from here, I can press enter on player one up and say press up on my D-pad. And I'm also going to map out the start button as well. And if we then just scroll down and just go back to return to groups and press enter. We've got other controls to go to. And from here, we can go down to coin one and just make sure you map this one out. So for example, I'm pressing start button on my controller and that's mapped out my start button as coin one. And that's about it. So from here, we go, go back to return to groups, return to main menu. And we also got dip switches here. If we go in here, we can actually change the game's difficulty level just by going left or right. We also got video configurations just here. If we go to mode, we can change the resolution 